This is Dan Perkis, Technology Director with WellSense. Welcome mm -hmm. to the showcase. Thank you. And thank you for a very lively and informative presentation this morning. Really honest and a, a true description of the, the grassroots of developing mm -hmm. new technology. Briefly, can you tell me, tell the audience here, what that was all about, what your experience is? Um, well, it's very difficult. It's very difficult if you're a, the small guy at the bottom coming up with the new ideas and the new technologies and um, trying to introduce the, the concepts uh, and the new technologies into the oil industry because they are so risk averse. It's very difficult. It's a long process and it takes a lot of knocking on doors. It takes years and years and to, the, the problem is, is the risk averseness of, of, of of the people you're dealing with and, and and the time right now is the perfect time to take those risks if you take those risks now in a downturn and get this technology ready it'll be there for when the upturn comes do you think then there has been an upsurge in interest in new and enhancing to technology because of the downturn when people are looking for those to cut costs improve well, efficiency yes everybody says there is and and everybody speaks a really good story about technology and how technology is going to pull them through this and how we need investment in technology and there's a lot of good talk but talk is cheap talk is cheap what we need is actually action we need the small in the small technology uh, entrepreneurs need help and in, that means financial help and access to wells to actually get this technology in place now in the downturn so that it's ready for when things pick up. And it's not just about money, it's about access. Getting access to oil wells to go and test new ideas. You've heard a lot of talks this morning. Lots of talks. Lots of talks. Talk. Hopefully talk. it wasn't cheap. Hopefully you learned something. <laughs> You've met some interesting people that can really push okay. forward your business. I hope so. I hope so. The, there's, there's a lot of um, people in the higher levels here today talking about collaboration between different industries, bringing technology in, cooperation between government and the, but, but for me, it's the grassroots is where it's happening. That's where the new ideas are actually happening. And I hope that some of the, some of the, 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 the help and the, and, and that like the innovation center that's coming can actually be beneficial to the people at the bottom and in my opinion we are the people taking the risk we are the ones who take the risk you know it's our jobs it's our money it's our families it's our daily life that's that that's the people who take the risk we say well the operator doesn't want to risk it in his well well there's a there's a well risk but the actual the actual risk the fine the small companies themselves are battling now to stay in business support by the operators would be hugely helpful. Do you feel that those small developers, these really innovative, pioneering people with those ideas can get that support from, from ITF and by taking part in events well, like I this? I hope so, I hope so. You know, ITF, the idea is to partner us up with the companies that have the problems and they are trying very hard, but the proof will be in the pudding. The proof will be in the pudding what actually happens after this do we all go back to our day jobs and forget it happened or will something actually happen now i know that the the um, the innovation center is coming and there's 180 million pounds to be spent on the new innovation center and i just hope and pray that will be spent wisely thank you very much dan thank you you're very welcome thank you